Tip, we now have a silver sword, which is effective against magical beasts and monsters. The steel sword is more effective against humans and animals. Alrighty then. Well, let's actually pull out the sword. Because uh, we were uh, going to pull out the torch if I didn't do it that way. And then uh, I suppose uh, we're probably going to want to do a, a group style at this point. Since uh, it looks like there is at least three drowners around us. I'm sure Siegfried will uh, be just fine. He's got a, a pretty decent sized sword at his uh, at his belt there. <laughs> we'll, we'll see what he does. Yeah, he seems pretty good. I wish I could dual wield a sword plus a torch. Unfortunately, Siegfried can do whatever the hell he wants. Looks like he uh, he already took a significant chunk of damage there, surprisingly. Poor guy. Can't defend against uh, minor monsters. <laughs> I don't know how he's going to uh, live to be a, a Sword of the Rose Knight if he's going to die against Drowners. Ah, oh, yeah, some random green mold here. Otherwise known as blacklight juice. <laughs> I'll take some of that. Siegfried, you wanna you wanna shine that torch over here? I can barely see a thing. I have to shine my own. Yoo-hoo! Oh, I got a place of power over here, it looks like. Can I get up here? There we go. Oh, lovely. Something already coming for us. I'll let you take that down. Oh, I can't even... Whatever. I'm gonna hit you with a torch. If I can get over here. Bonk! <laughs> this is what I mean by Siegfried is not going to last very long. I was able to kill that thing with a torch. Not even a silver sword. Not even a steel. Uh, so we have a sugar doll. Whetstone down here. I don't really care so much about the whetstone. Can you stop putting that away, Geralt? I'd really like to actually be able to see what's going on down here. Pain in the butt. Might as well uh, perform the ritual of magic here. So that we have uh, a little bit extra on our, uh, on our signs. Apparently I've got Tawny Owl going? Wow, that must be from uh, from last. <laughs> Tony Owl lasts a couple of months. <laughs> Does uh, if you load up a save game, I guess. <laughs> See something splashing over there. Looks like uh, another drowner. Let's see what we got going on our map here. So looks like there might have been a way to go back this way. And there appears to be a side tunnel of some kind here. It's interesting. Is that just this window? Is that the uh, the side tunnel that we're we're talking? Yeah, I guess so. I guess there's a way to see uh, through that side tunnel when you're on the other side somehow. Kind of want to see over here and see if I can find whatever other area. There's a barrel over here. Some bars. Can't really get over here because there's like a, a muck wagon that's blocking my path. But. Uh, should at least be able to get whatever's in this barrel. Ah, four orins. Just what I need. Fantastic. Oh, Geralt. I'm about ready to just down this cat potion. This is getting ridiculous. Forget about it. Just down it. <clears throat> now we'll be able to see in all of the dark areas a lot better. Or at least somewhat better. I don't know about a lot better, but uh, somewhat. What's up, Drowner? Still pretty dark down here. Lame. Is that all? Man, that was a fast battle there. Entering new region. Temple quarter sewers. I feel like this cat potion is not doing very much to uh, to actually assist down here. It looked darker than uh, 
than I expected earlier. I am also stuck on something. <laughs> I don't know what I got stuck on when jumping down there, but uh, Geralt was like, well, I'm just not going to move ever again. He died singing. <laughs> Hello? Come here, you. Bring your friends along. I'll flip over all of you. Did he say be cool? <laughs> or stay cool? Uh, no idea. Didn't really sound uh, very Knight of the Ordery. More like Knight of the Ornery. Ah, Grindstone. That's nice. And probably, uh, how long does this last? <clears throat> Can't really tell from that. Uh, I'm just gonna put the Grindstone on here. 20% extra damage sounds, uh, decent. Probably won't last too long, but, uh, it should last long enough that it will give us a decent advantage. Knight's Corpse, huh? So we have a key, a rusty key bearing the image of the Lionhead Spider. We have a letter from Knight Eric, or for Knight Eric, a letter describing the location of the Lionhead Spider Cult. Interesting. Very interesting. Let's check this thing out. Eric! The tortured blasphemers gave us only very general information. We know that the worshippers of the Lionhead Spider meet <laughs> in one of the dungeons in the sewers. Unfortunately, we have been able we haven't been able to determine its location. One of the cultists had a key, which you will find enclosed. I wager anything that it opens the doors to the meeting place. Go into the sewers and try and locate the dungeon in question. Let the eternal fire light your way in the darkness. Well, apparently that eternal fire didn't do a damn thing for this guy. We did get a uh, nice new location in our journal for the sewers here. The sewers beneath Vizima were built in the age when <clears throat> an ancient elven city stood on this site. Not much of their original greatness remains, but they still serve their function well. Connecting the Temple Quarter and the Trade Quarter, they carry off sewage from the entire city, rendering the stench of the gutters a little less overbearing. The sewers have recently become infested with monsters, especially drowners. They're really stinky drowners. Apparently, a cockatrice has also made its lair there. Secluded and rarely visited, the sewers have become an ideal refuge for the worshippers of the forbidden cult of the Lionhead Spider. Also, I have something about the dungeon here. The dungeon is where those criminals unlucky enough to fall into the hands of the city guard are kept. Prisoner turnover in the jail is relatively high. Some are released, usually to return after a while, while others are executed on the scaffold. Captain Vincent Mays. Rick Mays here. Oh, uh, Billy Mays here. No. Mm -mm. Uh, Vincent Price here. Oh, oh. <laughs> he's selling something today. Uh, of the city guard is selling us a cockatrice. Uh, he's the jail's warden. The uh, dungeon affords access to the sewers, which run under the entire city of Zima. We have anything else? I don't think so there. We do have some stuff in our quests here. Uh, prison break. Uh, I've decided to team up with Siegfried. It will be an easier fight together. Apart from that, I will gain the Order's gratitude. I must find the cockatrice's nest in the sewers and kill it. Memory of a blade. Jethro spilt the beans. He said they found the silver sword at Taller's place. I wonder where the fence got it from. I need to visit him as soon as this business is over. I have to go and ask Taller about the Silver Sword. So Taller is definitely a fence. Geralt, who has lost his memory, somehow knows that Taller is a fence based on this quest log. 
Uh, yet we haven't met Taller yet, which is interesting. Let's go look at uh, Berenger's secret over here. Uh, the guards got their hands on a witcher's sword. Probably belonged to Berenger. I need to talk to the fence who owns the place where the sword was found. Strange, but I find myself following in the footsteps of this mysterious witcher. I doubt he would ever part with his sword voluntarily, so he may be in trouble again. I must talk to the fence who uh, had that witcher's sword. Well, we'll do our best to go find it. So currently we have... Uh, we have Siegfried of uh, Denise here. Denise? I, I forget. <laughs> Denial! He's Siegfried of Denial. He's denying that he's weak as hell. <laughs> he's a knight of the Order of the Flaming Rose. And he's an idealist who adheres to the Order's rules, but is not devoid of common sense. Polite and open, he is unlike many of his brothers from the Order in that he is not prejudiced. He is undeniably courageous, and demonstrated this when he descended alone into the sewers to fight the cockatrice. Mr. Mays, the captain of the City Guard, released the Professor, one of the most wanted criminals of Tamaria. You know, it's funny that we're talking about the Professor when we're talking about Mr. Price here, because we should be... Uh, <laughs> saying something else. Anyways, uh, Vincent is the captain of the guard and the main executor of the King's Law in the Temple Quarter. So, it's basically, he's uh, not very interesting. There's nothing really to say about him. <laughs> Check the professor here. Uh, so, I think we've only got this new paragraph here. Uh, the professor was released from the dungeon right in front of my eyes. He mocked the law and proved to me just how powerful Salamandra is. Jethro! He's got a trailer out back. And is a guard in the city dungeon. He would merely be a standard smartass, except that he's addicted to phys tech. Ah, that might come in handy. How do you know that he's addicted to phys tech? <laughs> like, did you, did you overhear it? I, I, we really didn't talk to Jethro very much. As are Javid. Let's see what we have of him. Uh, I think it's just this one last sentence here. The mage is in hiding, yet his influence extends over the whole of Zima and possibly beyond. I guess we uh, presume that because the professor was released so easily. We've already done the locations here. We've got the cockatrice as a monster. Cockatrices are born of eggs laid by roosters consorting with other roosters. So basically, cockatrices are just uh, uh, gay rooster children. <laughs> is, that, is that what we're saying here? Wow, okay. Um, the egg must be incubated for 44 days by a toad, which is devoured by the little beast as soon as it hatches. A cockatrice hates everything that lives so fiercely that its glance turns the living to stone. Only a bold adventurer with a mirror can deflect its deadly gaze and defeat the cockatrice. Yet, we just talked to a guy who told us, first of all, it doesn't have stoning gaze, which second of all means that we don't need a mirror, and third of all, sounds like all of this is just bullshit from the church that doesn't like gays. Fuck you, church. <laughs> oh, God. Why did we bring religion into this? Never mind. Anyways, they're sensitive to silver and uh, uh, ornithosaur, bleh, ornithosaur oil. Ornithosaur oil. Say that 50 million times fast. That's ridiculous. Uh, Cockatrice tries to surprise its opponent, strike suddenly, and poison him with its venom. Alchemy, uh, you can get toxin, cockatrice eyes, and feathers. Uh, it's a sensitive... Ah, we already read that. Uh, high resistance to poisons, difficult to knock down. They nest in caves and dark cellars. Guess we'll figure out exactly what kind of style we need. I'm gonna assume probably fast style for this thing because it's a sneaky little bastard that comes after you. But who knows? Could be wrong on that one. Do we have any ingredients? We got the toxin here. 
obtained from the uh, carcasses of kickamores, wyverns, giant centipedes, basilisks, and cockatrices. The uh, cockatrice feather is obtained from uh, cockatrices only, and cockatrice eyes, same thing. And that appears to be about it. I think this might be the only cockatrice in the entire game. Um, I don't know that we learned much new about the Order of the Flaming Rose. I can't remember if we ever read this, but we'll just read it. The Order of the Flaming Rose was established after the war with Nilfgaard by a charismatic leader, Jacques de Aldersberg, on the foundations of the deteriorating Order of the White Rose. I feel like we did read this. Uh, because this would have probably come from the priest outside. To Aldersburg's aim was to protect the people from monsters and other evils, and to promote belief in the eternal fire. The Order's headquarters are located in Vizima, Vizima uh, with numerous uh, commanderies spread across the whole of Tamaria. And then we have the one tutorial that we got. That's about it. Well, with that out of the way, let's go find us a uh, cockatrice. Can we go through here? No, that's locked. What we got going on the map here. So we came from over here. There's an exit to the temple quarter over in the other direction. Two different tunnels going to exactly the same place. We got the uh, cultist's crypt over here and the cockatrice slayer. So those are actually two different places. I was thinking that the uh, the cultist slayer might be where the cockatrice was and perhaps the uh, cultists were you know summoning it up or something or keeping it as a pet cultists may need a pet you never know I think that's probably about it down here on this end but I'm gonna check and see if there's a barrel there's not just some bars this I believe is the exit over here but uh we have not uh, completed our quest, so we can't really exit. Kind of barring us in here. Virtue, commands. Virtue, sharp things, you know, whatever object is in your way. You keep thinking whatever you want, Siegfried. You're, uh, you're looking nearly dead over here. I hope you uh, I hope you don't take any more damage. I don't want to uh, have the order pissed off at me for you dying. That was random. Get behind you. Uh-oh. Is it the trees? Patrice, she's here. Can I get down from here? There we go. Whoops. A little too fast there. <laughs> it didn't really matter. The cockatrice is dead. Now, where was the exit? I don't think I can go back the way I came. Come, I'll lead you to the exit. Take the cockatrice's head. Vincent pays well for trophies. Very well, though it reeks. He's just running away now. Malkad Sephira. A Sephira symbolizing the kingdom. Also the cockatrice head here, which is a trophy that can be sold for a lot of money. And a cockatrice feather containing the following substance. Interesting. What the hell is this? Why was the cockatrice holding it? Interesting. 